But I think I should also point out because I've heard a few reports, especially from that uh, Port Harcourt artist, about some people wearing the ESCC branded jacket and they're stopping vehicles on the road and asking for people to bring their food. If you find such thing, know that those ones are not from the ESCC because we don't do stop and search uh, as a commission. So I think members of the public should be aware of that. You can never see a genuine officer of the commission coming to the road to come and stop vehicle and asking you to bring your phone uh, and that they're looking for your Yahoo boys. No, that is not part of our modus operandi. Uh, I would say that I think what is really worrisome for us as a commission is the uh, number of young people, especially undergraduates in university, polytechnic staff involved in Abadan. Often when you talk about Yahoo Yahoo, people tend to justify that, look, there is no job, people are leaving school and they are not employed. What do you expect all these young people to do? That is the reason why they are involved in uh, uh, Abadan. But well, our experience suggests otherwise, because most of those who are actually involved in Yahoo Yahoo are students in higher institutions, people who are still collecting money from their parents. So they are not employed, unemployed, per se. So what we have on our hands is really a problem of basement of our value in which people want to get rich by all means. And then when they stumble on this meeting form, no questions are asked. Instead of people to ask questions, they are celebrated as uh, the new uh, uh, wealthy people in town. They buy cars, people don't ask questions. They wear the general clothes, people don't ask questions. Even give money to their parents. And now you have people protesting that why are you disturbing us? You should leave us to continue to do what we are doing. But we don't appreciate the fact that this money that they are spending are actually money that belongs to some people in other countries. Some crimes is an offense that usually happens in a syndicate, in a group. And before the commission sets out to do any operation, it's preceded by investigation. Investigations are carried out, surveillance are carried out before they go to a location to effect arrest. If in the course of that arrest you have a group of people going around the suspect and you, you arrest all of them, take them to the office and you do screening, those that have no connection with the offense are allowed to return back home. But the, the, the culprits, you take them and let to send them. Those that really have some certain issues are taken to court and convicted. I can't see anybody that we are taking to, to court, for instance, on some kind that comes out to see didn't know anything about the offense for which he was arrested. But this, the issue that I want Nigerians to really understand is that tobacco is a peculiar type of crime. It's not like uh, uh, gas corruption, which would be the perpetrators that are well known in society, that you invite them to come to your office, you interview them, release them on bail, and then the investigation continues. Once they have anything they are under investigation, they, they run away. And mm. those who are protesting, those who you claim to, 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 to believe that we are violating the life, who Protesting about was that we are disturbing their lives and they want to continue their act of criminality.